Hi, thank you for joining. My name is Crystal Olivaria and I'm the Career Conversationalist. Today we're going to be discussing how to help your child rebound from failure, discover what positive peer pressure is, avoid the biggest parenting mistake, learn success secrets from other parents. How well does your child handle failure? Offering your child advice is not always received well because your child may feel like you do not understand. That is why I think your child may be more likely to listen to a peer, a student athlete who is a basketball player and is keeping it real by telling it like it is. Tian M. Daniels shares that struggles are real in school. Even with all my honors roll certificates, the transition to high school was a difficult for me. I struggled early. I was lazy and my priorities were out of alignment. Tian talks about how the causes of his struggles in school were due to poor planning. Tian talks about how he made better choices and why as a result he is still bawling. I am impressed with this young man's maturity as well as his willingness to step up and be a leader by setting an example for his peers. Do you want to know how you can access the chapter Effed Up and Balling? An Athlete Story by Tian M. Daniels? Discover what is positive peer pressure. Pressure to engage in certain activities by peers can be positive or negative. However, we tend to focus on the effects of negative peer pressure, probably because it makes for juicy gossip. Juicy gossip tends to lead to a lot of disapproval because it is about poor behavior that leads to poor outcomes. Peer pressure can lead your child to engage in poor behavior and develop bad habits. Over time, bad habits lead to poor outcomes that lead to poor financial situations. Since you do not want your child to experience poor financial situations, it is important to help your child know how to handle negative peer pressure. Tian M. Daniels shares that negative peer pressure can be avoided if you first surround yourself with a positive group of peers and secondly, learn to say and be okay with no. This is wise advice. Another way to prevent poor behavior is to help your child focus on beneficial behaviors instead. Encourage your child to step up and learn to lead. Activities such as school captain, project leader, club president, or being a role model to younger siblings will give your child plenty of opportunities to develop leadership skills. Engaging in activities that develop leadership skills will create new outcomes that can ultimately create new financial possibilities. Leadership is a skill employers are looking for. According to Bloomberg's article, the Bloomberg Job Skills Report 2016, What Recruiters Want, leadership is a less common but more desired skill. Learning leadership skills as a young at a young age will help your child develop beneficial behaviors. If your child starts developing leadership skills now, then recruiters are more likely to be impressed with the amount of leadership experience your child has when he or she enters the workforce. Going back to the topic of peer pressure, you and your child are probably pretty aware of what negative peer pressure is and the effects it can have. However, do you know what positive peer pressure sounds like? Tian provides a great example of positive peer pressure when he encourages his peers to step up and be leaders. Taking a leadership role early will teach you a higher level of responsibility and how to give and receive feedback. You will disprove the naysayers that believe young people make poor leaders if you step up and emerge from the bench and take your place in and out of the game. To find out what other great advice Tian has and shares, grab a copy of the book, Effed Up, The Upside of Failure, and be sure to read Chapter 7, Effed Up and Balling, An Athlete's Story by Tian M. Daniels. 
Avoid the biggest parenting mistake. It is natural and normal to want to protect your child. However, are you being overprotective? Are you causing detrimental harm to your child by overprotecting him or her? Now, you may be asking yourself, what do you mean by detrimental harm and overprotective? Detrimental harm is created when an action done from a loving space causes unexpected negative consequences. Overprotection is acting from an emotional place of fear, not reasonable rational fear, but fear that has been over-exaggerated. There are lots of great examples in Tiana Sanchez, Sanchez, who provides from a mother's perspective in her book, Effed Up, The Upside of Failure. One of the examples I like the best is how she handles a situation when her son loses a card game and a tsunami of tears and tantrums arrives. It dawns on Tiana that her son played the card game with his grandmother and she would let him win. Her son's grandmother wanted to protect him from experiencing a loss. I was a mother who wanted to teach him to overcome one. He got accustomed to winning and the excitement that comes with it. So, when he actually experienced a loss, he didn't know how to handle it. It was time for a teaching moment. To find out how Tiana handles a situation, check out her book, Effed Up, The Upside of Failure. I really like Tiana's book because she talks about her experiences as a mother and uses examples that are easy to relate to. The book is also written away that your child will be able to easily relate to as well. Tiana uses examples and shares life lessons and observations that range from swimming lessons to chasing her brother down a hallway and having him run into a wall. Tiana can take a complex topic like failures and explain it in simple to understand metaphors like a wound. Tiana says, to treat failures like a wound. They hurt at first and cause initial pain and discomfort. But after a while, the wound heals. The scars become barely noticeable. Tiana's book is filled with many similar examples that are simple and expressed elegantly. In all the stories Tiana shares, there's a pearl of wisdom in each story. If you want to collect enough pearls of wisdom to make a necklace, then I suggest you acquire Tiana's book, Effed Up, The Upside of Failure. Learn success secrets from other parents. You no longer need to try and figure out how to raise a happy, healthy, ambitious child on your own. You can tap into a network of parents who share success secrets of how they raise their own children. The Career Conversationalist is that network. The conversations go beyond exploring career opportunities. The conversations include how to raise a happy and healthy, ambitious child. The way you raise your child will influence how your child thinks, acts, and behaves, which in turn will influence the outcome of his or her future. Also, there are many skills your child needs for employment that are not taught in the current school system. Therefore, as a parent, you are responsible for ensuring your child learns and develops skills necessary for him or her to be successful in his or her career. Rather than bear the burden of trying to figure it out on your own, you can tap into a powerful network of parents who share their experiences of what works and what does not. To provide clarity of what skills your child needs to learn and develop prior to entering the workforce, I recommend checking out the article the Bloomberg Job Skills Report 2016, What Recruiters Want. According to Bloomberg, the less common but more desired job skills recruiters are looking for are leadership skills, strategic thinking, creative problem solving, and communication skills. Teaching your child how to learn and develop these skills should no longer be kept a secret. The only way you're going to learn the tips and tricks from other parents is if you engage in this community and network. From my personal experience, I find parents are usually more than happy to share their own life stories of how they raised their children and taught them these important skills. 
For starters, here are three incredible women I want to introduce you to. One, Tiana Sanchez. Tiana is a mother and she works in tandem with colleges and employers to foster a more confident and competent workforce. Tiana provides training and development workshops to hundreds of professionals. You can find out more about her on your site, nolimittoyoursuccess.com. I also think it is noteworthy to mention Tiana's newest book at the time of crafting this message, Effed Up, The Upside of Failure. One of the things that makes this book amazing is that she co-collaborated with her son to write the book. Chapter 7, Effed Up and Balling, An Athlete's Story, was written by her son, Tian M. Daniels. By working with her son, Tiana helped Tian gain real-life experience while he was in high school. After he graduates college and he is seeking employment, it is highly likely that job recruiters may conduct an online search of him as part of their hiring process. How impressed do you think job recruiters will be if they search for her son online and find out he's a published author? 2. Dr. Betty Ubride. Dr. Betty is a mother and a very accomplished professional with a big heart. At the time of crafting this message, Dr. Betty is an executive vice president at California Bank and Trust. Depending on which social media platforms you follow her on, you will see a variety of posts. From pictures about her family and how she is active in the community, as well as short videos about women leaders who are leading by examples and sharing articles about the financial industry. Dr. Betty gives back to the community in a wide variety of ways. One way Dr. Betty is giving back is she's writing the book, Values, The Secret to Elite Level Performance in Business and Life. Half the proceeds from the sale of the books will go to the Unstoppable Foundation, a nonprofit humanitarian organization bringing sustainable education to children and communities in developing countries, thereby creating a safer and more just world for everyone. The funds will be used for scholarships for children in Africa and India. Each child that receives a scholarship will be asked to pay it forward and give the next generation a hand up rather than a hand out. Below is a recent post by Dr. Betty on Facebook. It is a picture of Dr. Betty with children in Kenya. The caption reads, the most amazing experience with the kids in Kenya. Learning about the true meaning of education, which is the greatest gift and legacy we can leave behind. So blessed to be a small part of their lives. Thanks to Cynthia Kinsey and the Unstoppable Foundation. Much more to come. Stay tuned. God is so good. To learn more about Dr. Betty and how she has contributed to the career conversationalist community, check out the blog post she was featured in titled, who do you share your proud parenting moments with? Three, Kelly Fidel. Kelly is a football mom, as well as a former Fortune 100 senior executive who helps women and cool men take control of their personal and business lives. Kelly hosts the No Glass Ceiling event where she shares from the stage her wisdom. After spending 20 plus years competing in Fortune 100 boardrooms against the most powerful men in the world for the win, Kelly saw too many men and women and cool men struggle in sales, business, and life as their real dreams, hopes, and desires became a faded memory. Committed to create a difference for all entrepreneurs and business owners in the game of business, selling, and landing high-paying clients, she breaks down what she learned in the boardrooms and billion-dollar sales strategy to create a level playing field for those ready to unleash their brilliance. I met all three of these incredible women at last year's No Glass Ceiling event. My friend, who is a cool guy, said, Crystal, I heard Kelly is the real deal. I think you should go to her event. I attended Kelly's event at the recommendation of a trusted friend. I'm glad I attended the event and I've kept in touch with Kelly. I follow Kelly as well as No Glass Ceiling fan page on Facebook. 
I have heard Kelly talk briefly about how her mother raised her and how she has raised her two sons with her husband. I have heard bits and pieces from talking to her, listening to her on stage, reading her book, Elite Business Mastery, listening to podcasts where she is guest on other people's shows and what she posts on social media. I mention this because sharing parenting advice is not usually on the forefront of many people's minds. However, you can learn a lot by getting to know people who have successfully accomplished what you want. Below is a post by Kelly on Facebook. The picture is of Kelly and her two sons in a football stadium. The caption reads, Today is senior night for football where my son will come out of the tunnel and meet our family midfield for an award and pictures. I will wear his varsity jacket. I'm so very proud, very proud of him. Bittersweet, the time flew fast. Soon he goes off to college. We did a good job. I look forward to getting to know Kelly better as I continue to follow her on social media and attend her No Glass Ceiling events. I invite you to attend her No Glass Ceiling events and register at noglassceiling.com. Go get your calendar and see if you can rearrange your schedule in order to attend her next event. Here is another recent post from Kelly. The caption says, So many success stories. How many success stories are you going to hear before you create your own? The image states, No glass ceiling. Shatter your inner glass ceiling. If you are like me, you will attend her event and will come across so many pearls of wisdom, you will have enough to create an elegant pearl necklace. Your child will encounter a lot of peer pressure. You can help your child avoid the negative peer pressure and its effect by introducing your child to Tian M. Daniels, who applies positive peer pressure instead. By getting to know people like Tian, you encourage your child to associate with more ambitious young people. Help your child understand that failure is a part of life. Avoid the biggest parenting mistake of overprotecting your child so that he or she never learns how to handle failure. Failure is not optional. We all experience it. You do not have to figure out the best way to help your child on your own. You can talk to other parents who share their success secrets of what works and what does not. Do you want to network with parents who share their success parenting secrets? As you get to know top performers, you might learn a little bit about how they raise their children. Therefore, go to events where top performers congregate. Plan on going to events like No Glass Ceiling. Disclaimer. I have chosen to lead by example. While many people want to positively change the world, I want to get paid for helping to create positive change. Therefore, I engage in affiliate marketing. This means I recommend products and services, and if you buy them, I receive monetary compensation. I feel that by only recommending products and services that I believe in and have used, I am vetting resources on your behalf and I am receiving compensation from someone else on your behalf. I like to think that if more people were affiliate marketers, we would see a lot less annoying ads everywhere. In order for this to happen, we need to work together to help people understand and be comfortable with getting paid for recommending products and services they believe in. I do not know about you, but I personally like to buy products and services from people I know, like, and trust. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this post interesting and helpful, then I would encourage you to subscribe and go to the site, grabyourfreegift.com forward slash crystal O, where you can access your free gift of the what, where, and how of preparing for college. And you will be put on my emailing list. And I send out an email every week with a blog post as well as send out an inspirational, motivational quote along with occasional bonuses. And I would encourage you to create a folder, exclamation mark, 
career conversationalist. This way you can easily save all your emails in one place so you can quickly and easily access them again when there's something you want to review. I also would like to take a quick moment to thank Google for all of this technology. Um, this is being recorded on Google Hangouts, which is a platform. And if for some reason you are not able to attend the live event, you will be able to re-access it on YouTube, which is again owned by Google. So thank you so much for Google. So thank you so much for taking the time to be with me today. And I look forward to our paths crossing soon again. Take care.